What up, guys? This is your boy, Jamie, better known as Super New Born 17, and this is going to be a contest entry to my boy, Light105. Let's do it. What up, guys? Uh, just want to say for light, I am in the junior po the junior pooling. I'm 16 years old, and um, let me just start off by saying I am a very, very blessed collector. Um, I realize there are people out there who are like the same age as me, but they can't afford. I mean. Like, they can't really afford the amount of figures and the figures that I have and whatnot. I'm very blessed and I'm very uh, thankful for everything that I have. Um, and I'd really love to thank my mother, first of all. Um, cause she's been supporting me this whole time. Um, with me sticking with my quote-unquote childish toys. And my child is toy collecting. And I'd also like to thank my best friend in real life. Um, my boy Matt. Because uh, he's also um, been very respectful about it. Uh, but yeah. I just want to speak about people in the community first of all. Um, people like Bug Nice 10. JRA Nightmare. Uh, Nine Fires. Salad Snake in My Pants. Slings of Web. I mean, this list could keep on going, uh, but like, you guys have all inspired me to do this articulated comic book art, which is an amazing art form that I'm very proud to be a part of, um, so yeah, all the figures that I've got in this little, uh, I guess you could call it a collage, um, they're here for a reason, they kind of mean something to me, and um, I'll go over them as I get to all of them. And um, I'd like to just start off by telling my story on YouTube. And I'd like to try and keep this video short, but it's not going to happen. I, I already know it's not going to happen. But um, start off, um, I believe, in 2010. Early 2010. Well, first of all, early 2009. I create my YouTube channel for the sole purpose of subscribing to... A reviewer of Halo action figures by the name of Elbert101. Um, I used to be very in love with Halo action figures. I still have a fairly good portion of them. And um, I'd say around early to mid-2010, I became a Halo action figure reviewer. Um, now, I kind of would consider my... Well, I was very excited while it was happening because I gained subscribers faster than I had ever subscribed ever expected to um so i was very proud of myself um but yeah halo has always been a big part of my life i really love the halo games the franchise as a whole these figures the halo 3 figures were really nice that's why i kept a lot of them um they'll still hold a, a nice place in my heart and uh i'm thinking about doing a acba setup uh like a full display with some halo figs um coming up then, we can move on to this cable right here, which is the Marvel Universe cable. Now, uh, uh, I'd say probably early 2011, maybe a little bit, yeah, I'd say early 2011-ish. Um, I stumbled upon a YouTuber by the name of Collecticon. Um, I wanted to do stop motions with my Halo figures, and I found him on how to make dioramas and stuff like that. And I fell in love with the Marvel Universe figures that he showcased so much. Um, Cable's just an example here. This is a figure that... Um, he's still, to this day, one of my favorite Marvel Universe figures. He's really nice. And uh, I spent the most money I've spent on a Marvel Universe figure on him. I think I spent 30 to get this guy mint on card. 
Um, which, thinking back, is kind of crazy, but I'm still happy with them. Um, but yeah, Marvel Universe, uh, up until probably late 2011, actually, up to about, um, my Chicago Comic Con videos, which if you go back, you can find them. I don't know exactly when those happened, but, uh, that's when I kind of cut off of Marvel Universe and I got into Marvel Legends. Which is what I initially started on before Halo. I had some legends back before YouTube. Um, but yeah, so at this point in my life, I was 15, uh, I believe. Yeah, earlier in 2011, I was 15. Um, and I enjoyed to post these videos to YouTube, but I was very um, careful while doing it. I had to make sure that no one who I knew in my personal life, could find out about it. Still to this day, I don't think very many do, but it's not because I'm hiding it, it's because I'm not going around flaunting it. If someone found out and they asked me, hey, do you collect action figures or, t or do you, well, this is probably what they say, hey, do you play with toys? I'd look at them, I'd be like, damn straight I play with toys. It it's, teaches you about, I don't know. I just love to collect. It's so much fun and... I'm very blessed with my collection. Um, now the figure right here, off on the end, off on the end. Excuse me, how I'm leaving the detail. Off, um, this is um, the Batman Legacy line J classic Joker, and I've got him in here to symbolize how I've kind of been branching off more. For example, like I got this DCUC figure right here. Um, I've been branching off kind of lately, getting other lines, trying to fit them in with Marvel Legends and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, and then earlier in the late 2011s, uh, I believe in probably around November-ish time, um, I got something that on my channel I quoted to be the huge-ass haul, which is where, God bless my mother, she paid, well, I, she didn't pay entirely, I paid for part of it, but she helped me buy this huge haul of Marvel Legends. Virtually every Toy Biz mainline legend, plus a tons of Spider-Man classics and a tons of other vintage stuff that like I don't even know what to do with at this point. But I still love them, and um, the reason the Red Skull is in here is because uh, he is probably my rarest figure that I own, um, probably, and uh, I got him in the huge ass haul, and uh, yeah. Next up, we have Nightcrawler right here. Now, Nightcrawler, um, he was one of my uh, older, like, original legends that I had. And, um, to this day, he's still one of my favorite Marvel legends. One of my favorite Marvel characters in general. Um, I really love him as a character. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to speed this up a little bit. Because I still want to talk about Light, uh, Light 105, closer on to the end of the video. Um, back there we got Iron Fist, which to this day is one of my favorite Marvel Legends of all time. Which I'm a little bit biased. This is the original Marvel Legends figure that I bought when I was probably, I want to say 7 or 8. When I went to uh, Florida and I went to Universal's Islands of Adventures on the Marvel Island. And I love this figure. It's a great figure. And um, I will never trade this figure off because he is... He's the start of my Marvel collection. And back there we got the Hasbro black suit Spidey from the Red Hulk. Uh, yeah, the Red Hulk wave. And um, I have him in there because he was the first Marvel Legends figure that I bought when I was at the quote-unquote Chicago Comic Con. And he's really what turned me back on to Marvel Legends. Um, so yeah. Here we have the Marvel Universe Goliath. And I've got him in here because I love what Marvel Universe is doing because they can be very well integrated. Like, you see Bug do it all the time with the Wrecking Crew and the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Giant Man. And, um, I just really love that. Like, I still gotta get me the Bill Foster Goliath. But, um, this is just an example. Because, like, he's very well sculpted, very well sized. And, um, I just like partially what Marvel Universe is doing. Now, here's some more of my branching off. Here is Vega from the Soda Street Fighter line. And Soda Street Fighter figures are phenomenal. I just got into them in the beginning of 2012 um it's almost february right now and these figures are just so amazing 
They're Marvel Legends, basically, but based off the Street Fighter characters. Um, and I really love them, and they're like, they've brought me to a whole new point in my collecting. Um, right here we have, I believe the Marvel Legends Series 6 Legendary Riders variant Wolverine with a head swap with the Weapon X Wolverine. Now I have him in here because of the, uh, I wanted him to symbolize the ACBA community because the, doing that head swap is something that swept through the community, um, late last year-ish, uh, and I just really love the community, and this, this is just to represent that. And then the last two figures are this Transformers, which I, this Transformer figure, which I still don't know his name, um, but again, branching off, this G.I. Joe figure, which I used to be super into G.I. Joes, I'm getting back into them now, um, selectively, of course, um, but yeah, more the branching off, as I said. And then the two figures that you saw from the beginning of the video. Um, and this is to symbolize my customizing. Um, right in the front here, we have the McFarlane-styled Spider-Man. And this is the first official custom that I did in the 6-inch scale. It was a repaint of the uh, Spider-Man Classics, or well, the newer Spider-Man line. Uh, six inch Hasbro repaint of the McFarlane Spidey which they just took the Toy Biz mold and they painted him with this kind of dull red and this uh, black so I took him repainted him and I really like him because I was I did very good on the dry brushing on the blue if I you know kinda make myself feel better right there and also we have a comic book cut out and I decided to only put one into this little collage um, and again, articulate comic book art. It's the next upcoming art form. I seriously believe this. It's gonna change what how people think about quote unquote nerds and collecting toys and stuff like that. Um, and then we got back here the Iron Patriot custom, which is the first custom that I went kind of all out on and put in some good work. And I think he turned out fairly well. Um, so yeah, I've talked about myself long enough. Well, actually, there's two more things I wanted to talk about for the Marvel Universe that I didn't, I couldn't fit in. And that's the Marvel Universe Sentinel. I just think he's a great addition, very huge, as well as the Marvel Un or the Marvel Universe Galactus, very big. Love the light up slash talking. Yeah, the light up and talking feature. I really love that. Um. And now I would like to talk about Light 105. Now, I found myself, the first time I watched one of his videos was probably about two, three weeks ago. Because um, he is fairly new. I'm not sure when he posted his first video. But he's only got about eight, I think. Um, and when I first watched his videos, for some reason or another, I just didn't subscribe. Because I only watched one video and it was on accident. Um... Now I've gone back, I've looked at his other videos, and I've subscribed to him because I think, honestly, he's one of the better YouTubers out there right now. Um, I just love how, when he's talking, he's got that smooth, calm voice. No homo. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But um, he's got that smooth, calm voice, and he's not swearing. He fudged up on this, he fudged up on that. That's beautiful how he's a full-grown black adult. From, well, he said he's from the streets. I mean, I can't confirm that, obviously. But, like, I just really, I'm really proud to see people, like, adults that don't swear like that. Like, I swear a lot more than I should, and I'm only 16. And, um, I just really enjoy hearing him, hear, or watching his videos and not hearing all the swears. It really feels nice. Um, also, this dude's generosity for this contest, he's going all out. I mean, first of all, he's got one of the best Marvel Legends collections that I've seen. Um, it's rivaling Solid Snake. Okay, that might be going a little far, but he's getting up there on Solid level. Um, Solid probably just beats him out in doubles and triples and mint on card for everything. Uh, but he's got this huge, massive collection. So then for this contest, he's really putting out a lot of great figures for these uh, people. And to be honest with you, 
right now I want to say this. I don't care whether I win or lose. I just want to get the word out there to my viewers. If you guys haven't seen him, please go over to his channel. Watch his videos. Like up his stuff. Subscribe to him. I mean, he's a good YouTuber. And I, I feel like if we get enough people watching his videos consistently, and I know he's going to be watching this, I really want to say to you, man, keep on putting out videos. You're a good YouTuber. And I, I want you to keep on putting stuff up. Because, like, some people, they just fall off the wagon. And, I mean, I know life gets busy. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't have to be, like, a super in-depth video. Just put out a video every once in a while when you get the chance. Because I really, like I said, I enjoy your YouTubing, your YouTubing skills. Um, so, yeah, guys, I've, I've wasted enough of your time. Um, if there's one thing that I would like to say from this is if you're a kid and you're kind of moving on to that junior high or that high school stage or whatever, don't be ashamed of your toys. Embrace it. Because, seriously, in real life, if you're a nerd, it doesn't matter. Because whether you're a nerd or not, 90% of the time, you're still going to have people that you hang out with. You're still going to have people who like you, who you're friends with. It's not about being a nerd and being exiled like they always played out in movies and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, embrace your nerdism. You don't have to go out yelling, I collect toys. But if someone asks you, just be like, yeah, I do that. I do this thing called articulated comic book art, or I do this, I do these stop motions, or I make custom figures, or whatever. Just own your thing. No one can seriously offend you if you own what you're putting out. And, yeah. Um, that's all I really want to say, guys. I really hope you uh, enjoyed me talking randomly for 16 minutes or so. Uh, not to mention my intro needs to be added in. So, sad face. <laughs> so this is probably going to be a 20 minute video, but I really hope you guys learned something from this. And I hope you guys go check out Light105. And I feel like I'm getting his name wrong, but I'm like 95% sure I'm right. <laughs> um, but yeah, big congrats to you, brother. Uh, keep on putting stuff out. And um, for my viewers, uh, I might be having a contest coming up soon as well, so look out for that. And um, yeah, guys, I just really hope you keep on doing your thing. And making articulate comic book out, articulate comic book art, or custom toys, or just toys in general, um, a big part of life. I want things like this to be on the level of like football and basketball one day. So uh, yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I'll see you later. Peace.